Hi, everybody. Mike Bias, Executive Director of the Big Hole River Foundation. Today is April 12th, 2013. It's our first day of sampling for our benthic macroinvertebrate sampling project or monitoring project. And we're up here at the very upper reaches of the Big Hole River. This is one of our first sites we look at. This is the Big Hole River right here at the very top of where it starts. We're about a mile above Jackson, Montana. And I'm going to do two samples across this small ripple just to show you how we do things. Okay, we got our sample jar that we'll fill up. We got our sample jar we're going to fill up, number two. I use this to rinse the net. You can see in the net just uh, a bunch of debris. Bring it around. Try and do it in clean water so we don't contaminate the sample. But rinse all the debris bottom corner. We got a rock in here. I have missed the rock off. I need to collect the rocks. And then you get this clump of debris. We'll put that in. The bugs are caught in the debris. There's some really good bugs in this sample. It looks Really, just like a massive goo, but if you see that one crawling right there, that's what we're looking for. Lots of little ones crawling on my finger. Important not to drop the jar back in the river. Rinse it to the corner. Try and get all those bugs gently, gently rinsed to the corner. Three. Okay. That's pretty good. We're about empty. Next to that, get ready for the next location, which is Governor Creek. Down, just down the road. Samples out. Okay, our net's clean. Sample of bugs. It's just a jar full of river bottom debris right now. We'll see as soon as we pour the alcohol in here though what happens. Lid on, rinsing bottle. We're out of here. And uh, I'm gonna put the alcohol in now about oh one third of, of these with the alcohol. Ethanol, we need ethanol. This is uh, instead of ethanol which is harder to get we just get Everclear uh, 95 percent, 100 percent proof grain alcohol. It's a good thing we live in a college town. So I'm going to preserve these samples now by just putting some Everclear in here. And you can see, you can see the <laughs> we got a good sample. Kind of rinse the outside of the jar down as we. Put enough Everclear in there to preserve it. 
We don't need that much. We could even mix some with, with water. Um, I don't know if we can see. There's some golden stones wriggling in there. Some good golden stones. What's happening is they'll get really drunk right off the bat and then die. And then uh, we'll take them back to the lab and count everything and identify everything we have in here. And get this year's April sample. We sample in April before runoff so we can uh, determine some of the early season bugs that occur in the river on this upper end. See if they differ from um, bugs in other areas. So about one third full. Rinse the outside down. Put the lid on. Just mason jars and grain alcohol. You can see a golden stone right there. Um, there was a lot of green drakes in this upper end, which is kind of nice. Some big swimming mayflies. But you can see when we sample, we don't really look through and see what we have. We, we do that in the lab. It's really just a field exercise today.